In today's video, we're gonna do the mythic only challenge. Let's get right after it. Okay guys, so the rules for this challenge are that I could use any mythic I want, I could use one starter unit, I could use the scientist cameraman for extra money, and I could use one healer. So this is my loadout on the bottom of the screen, you guys can see it. I have the UTC, the ninja, the scientist cam, and the repair drone. So let's go ahead and jump into the first match. Oh yeah guys, real quick, check this out. I have over like 20 mythics right now, I'm not even kidding. If one of you guys want one of these just let me know in a comment with your roblox username and i might choose someone who like like this video and is subscribed to my channel and i might add you guys as a friend and i might give you guys one of these because i don't need this many mythics i don't think anyone does so just let me know which one you want which whatever like is your favorite and then we might just choose someone and also guys don't forget to enter the giveaway for the exclusive crate at my website ltcrazy.com and i'll show you guys how to do that real quick so once you guys are on my site click the giveaway button right here and once this page loads scroll on down you'll find the giveaway right here there's nine ways to enter do all nine for the best shot at winning also when you're on my page make sure you go to the toilet tower defense spot because on this page you can find the accurate value of any unit in the entire game on here this way you guys never get scammed again the link to this site will be in the pinned comment. Click that and make sure you guys use this so you never get scammed again. Happy trading and let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so we're gonna try this challenge today in the toilet city since I've never did like a hard challenge because I never had nightmare mode. And now we have it, we could actually do it on this map. So this is gonna be pretty fun. I'm pretty, you know, excited to see how this goes. And I really hope that we could beat this on nightmare mode. That would be pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. But, I mean, it is definitely going to be pretty tough. Let's be honest here, guys. I mean, Nightmare Mode is no joke. But I'm choosing this map because I feel like the track is pretty, like, set up in a good way to, you know, potentially be able to clutch this up. But by no means is it going to be very, very easy. Let's just put it that way. So here we go. This is going to be fun. We only have four units here. The Mythic is going to be our main. You know, we're going to be using him the whole time. And then we're also going to have to drop in, of course, our uh, ninja here to actually be able to do this. Otherwise, it would literally be impossible. So that's why we have to bring in the, the ninja, guys. Because if we don't have him, then we might as well not even do the challenge at that point. Right, guys? All right, though. So the first plan, though, is we're going to get him down about right here. I think that's a pretty solid spot for him. And then we're going to kind of let him cook, let him do his thing. He should be able to take out all these guys. Of course, I'm going to upgrade the ninja all the way. And then uh, from there, we might have to place down a second one. Or we might just straight up go for the uh, mythic. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to see what the uh, situation's looking like. But the really good part about this uh, map is if I get this guy like right here, I'm going to be able to cover most of the map, which is going to be pretty sweet. So pretty excited for that. I mean, I'm, I'm liking her odds here. I think they... Uh, you know, the game's going to give us a pretty solid shot at actually being able to clutch this up. And the reason I brought in the UTC and not the Cinema Man is because you see these glasses, guys? Well, the Cinema Man, he doesn't attack, though. So if we just uh, go, you know, like just Cinema Man, we will lose. So let's just put it that way. That's why I brought that guy in. And, you know, I think that's the right move. I mean, I don't want to lose on wave, like, you know, 5. That would be pretty sad. Imagine I lose the Mythic only challenge on wave 5. That would be horrendous. All right. Let's go ahead and see what we can do here. Come on, can we get all these guys? I just need like 50 or more dollars. There we go. Get that next upgrade so then my guy could actually swing his plungers a little teeny tiny bit quicker. Now, the game is a little, little laggy right there because I think of all these guys running through the glasses to it. So let's maybe turn off auto skip for like a minute or so. Let these guys kind of, you know, spawn in, get going, and then we'll, uh, you know, be able to turn it back on in a little bit, I think. And right, well, actually, I, I can't do it yet. I don't know if you guys just heard that. I just smacked my arm off my desk so hard. Did you guys ever do that before? That is the worst. All right, though. Here we go, guys. I definitely need to get this next upgrade going here. I'm going to skip to just get the money to be able to do that. There we go. And now we're swinging even quicker now. So look at that. And we're doing a lot of damage. We do have our first boss on the map. So that is definitely, definitely a little, little spooky. I mean, I, I think we'll be okay. But, I mean, it, it's not a freebie, let's put it that way. Now, some of these guys, unfortunately, are going to get by, but I don't think it's going to kill us, so I'm not too concerned. We just have to, you know, worry about being able to take these guys out here. I mean, I think we'll be able to do it. I could potentially drop in another guy to, like, try to clutch that up, but I don't even think it's worth it. No point. Let's just, uh, let's just do our thing here with what we got and try our best. I mean, these bosses are going to be kind of tough to take out, so I'm just hoping for the best here. I'm going to get quite a bit of money just from, you know, killing these spiders and stuff. So I might be able to get to the point where I could skip and then I'll be doing 800 damage every point in four seconds and I should be good. Now, our toilet city is already down 150 health, so that's pretty bad, let's be real. But, you know, we're still alive. That's 
you know, the real thing that matters, right? It looks like the mutant toilet might catch up. I hate this new mutant toilet because he's like faster than the, the actual boss and he catches up like this. It's really annoying, but kind of just is what it is, I guess, right? All right, I could actually drop down both of these guys, skip here, get the money, and then upgrade. I think that's going to be the move. So, oh, only one got put down. Oh, that's okay, though. Whatever, no big deal. All right, there we go, though, guys. We got that first mutant. Now I'm going to save up for the, the UTC, I think. I'm going to try to. I, my plan is to get him down, like, right here. Because if I do that, I'll be able to cover the entrance and, like, all of the maps. So, that is the first plan, I think. I mean, I'm not going to... Well, I just put on auto skip there. I didn't mean to do that. That's not good. But luckily, yo, guys, check this out. My ninja cameraman can reach those guys. How OP is that? Look at him. He's just taking them all out. Like, they're nothing. That's sweet. All right, I'm going to get this guy, though, like, right here, like I was saying. I mean, I can't place him just yet, but I just need, like, $500, and then I can place him. And then this might be doable, guys. I mean, it's not going to be easy. Don't get me wrong. This is going to be one of the hardest challenges I've ever done because, you know, these guys are really expensive to get down, really expensive to upgrade, and, I mean... It's just tough to maintain them if I'm getting stunned 24-7. So hopefully our camera repair drone can clutch up for us. If it cannot, we will definitely be in some serious trouble. Let's be real. All right, let's auto skip just so we don't waste any time. We'll get that guy down and then uh, we'll do our thing. So my plan here is to get the camera repair drone. I mean, I might as well put it. I'm just trying to think here. Maybe like right here because I only have one of them and I'm, I'm probably going to try to get a bunch of my mythics like right here in this area. And like, you know, over here. So I think that's a pretty darn good spot for him. And that's where we're going to keep him. So here we go. We got our mutant toilets on the map. And honestly, I'm not too worried about them. I think we'll uh, take them out pretty, pretty okay. Pretty okay, I think, right? Let's just uh, kind of get this thing charged up here. And then we'll be good. If you guys don't know what the camera repair drone does, it removes stun off your like friendly troops. I'm going to skip though because... Those guys are going to take a while to get by, and I think we'll be able to take out all these enemies, just get enough money, maybe even upgrade our UTC here. If we can upgrade him, he's going to be doing so much more damage and so much quicker. It's going to be really good for us. Now, we do have our first Buzzsaw. See, he might stun us, maybe. No, the Buzzsaw can't reach us, so that's really good, guys. The Buzzsaw cannot reach us, confirmed. So, as long as we don't put your guys, like, right next to the track, those Buzzsaws, they can't actually attack you. So, I always try to do that when you guys are playing. It's, like, the best way to go about it. And, uh, yeah, so try that. Try that, guys. Here we go, though. We got some mutant toilets on the map. We got some more mutant toilets. Should be able to take them out relatively just fine. We might get stunned here by the buzzsaw, which is going to kind of stink. But, I don't know, maybe not. Hopefully not. Let's find out. Yep, that stunned us. Well, that's not good. That's not good at all because that thing's going to get by now. That's a bit of a bummer. Well, see, that's why you want your guy, like, a little teeny tiny bit off the track. I could, like, try to save him, but he's not going to kill us, so I'm not too worried about him. It's going to suck because he should have died, but, I mean, what could you do about it, right? Only if I had the camera repair drone on him. Well, we're at 50 HP, guys. Now it's got to be a perfect run. Let's just put it that way. It's got to be perfect now, guys. It's got to be perfect. Let's upgrade the camera repair drone, get his, uh, you know, thing up there a little bit. We'll auto-skip here because we'll be fine. And then we'll take out these bosses, get some extra money. And I mean, hopefully soon enough, we'll have enough money to upgrade the UTC because we really need to get some more damage going here. I mean, more damage is going to be crucial. If we don't get that anytime soon, we're going to be in big trouble. So let's do it. Here we go. We got the bosses on the way. We got two of them. It's actually, we're not killing them quick enough here. Uh-oh, guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, come on. I'm going to skip just to get that little bit of extra money. There we go to help out with the boss toilet. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We're good, we're good. All right. That was making me a little bit worried there. I'm not going to lie, guys. I was a little teeny tiny bit worried because I was kind of feeling like, uh-oh, we might be in a little bit of trouble here. We're not killing them very quickly, but nah, we good. We good. All right, cool. Let's uh, get on to this wave. We, I guess, took out that whole wave there. Wow. Wasn't actually expecting that. All right. Well, now we have some more stuff. We might actually wipe this wave out really quickly just with one guy alone here. I mean, well, that mutant toilet's got a lot of HP, so maybe not. But as long as we can, like, wipe out those large toilets and stuff, I'm not really worried about them. We'll be okay. I'll be able to get the next upgrade on the UTC as well pretty soon here. So that's going to be really nice. And then, you know, once we get that, we're going to be really lighting up these enemies. I should probably wait here just because, you know, these, like... Unfortunately, the way the track works, like, these guys are going to get around to back here. And then my UTC is going to start shooting them. And then all the strong enemies in the front are going to get by. So let's just play this smart, wait it out a little bit, and then, you know, go from there. I could also upgrade my scientist cams right now, 
but I'm gonna hold off on that just because I would like to get this next upgrade on the UTC because he's gonna be doing like 900 damage which is really really strong so let's do that and then the next upgrade is 4,000, then 8,000. The 8,000 upgrade gives us AoE. AoE damage is going to be insanity for us, guys. If we could get it. Hopefully we could. Now, this mutant toilet's getting pretty far. It's kind of concerning. Now, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Hurry up. Get him. No, don't do me dirty like this. Don't do me dirty. There we go. Wake up, bud. Let's go. Nice job, guys. Nice job. Cool stuff. We got it. We just need $90. We'll get the next upgrade. This is definitely going to be harder than I thought this challenge, but I still think it's possible. If uh, we can't beat it on this mode, of course, we'll go try on hard mode, medium mode, easy mode. But, you know, we'll have to see what happens, okay? Let's see, let's see. If for some reason I can't beat it on any mode, then we'll have to give, like, we'll give, like, out an extra mythic, okay? On top of the one that we already might give out, so... We got a lot of stuff. And by the way, guys, whenever, like, I give out units, I'll definitely sign them for you guys, too, just so their values go up. And, you know, it's cool to get a signed unit sometimes. So, I remember I used to love getting signed units on, like, Pet Sim. And now I can actually sign units, uh, which is just amazing to me. That blows my mind. I always wanted to be able to sign units on, like, Pet Sim. But Preston, he never, he never got back to me. He never reached back. He never let me uh, do it. So, unfortunately, I was never able to... Uh, you know, I'll be able to do that for you guys. But you know what? Here we are now, and we're chilling. All right, guys. We have a boss wave here, obviously. You guys can see that. I'm going to skip because I think the next wave is pretty slow. So let's just uh, build up our money. And then, um, you know, by doing that, of course, building up our money, that's a good thing. We could uh, upgrade our scientist cameraman here. I think that's a good idea. Hopefully some bigger units. Okay, these vacuums, that's good. Hopefully we can take those out. No problem, no problem. Come on, we got a dual blade toilet as well, though. I'm not going to skip, obviously, because if I skip, that would be terrible. But come on, let's get that guy. There we go. Nice. All of our scientist cameramen are upgraded now, so we're going to be getting an extra $400 every single round, which is pretty incredible. I mean, $400 goes a long ways after, like, you know, we have 35 more rounds in this game. So just think of how much extra money that is, guys. It's a lot. Now, these bosses could potentially be a problem. There's uh, quite a bit of them, but I mean, we're, we're actually taking them out pretty quickly here. I don't know. It's going to be close. I think we have enough radius to be able to get them all. You should, right? There's only two left, so let's just focus up on them. Let's upgrade this guy over here once I get enough money. Okay, got it. So there we go. And then uh, we got a vacuum and a dual blade toilet left, and that's it. And then we'll uh, get on to the next wave, guys. He's probably going to spin again right there, like right out of range. It's going to be really long. He's going to do it right there. Watch. Ready? Three, two, one. I knew it. I knew he was going to do that to be a jerk. I just straight up knew it. All right, well, whatever, no big deal. He's only got like 30k HP, so he's gonna die pretty quick. And then the uh, dual blade's got 40k, but I mean, we'll smoke him, I think, pretty, pretty easily there. Let's go, come on, get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. I just really need to just keep getting this guy upgraded. The next upgrade gets him up to 1500 damage every single like 0.2 seconds, which is just wild. That's a lot, a lot, a lot of damage. Here we go, though. All these, like, little tiny guys are, like, pointless now at this point. Like, they're not gonna get by. Even the assassins, look at them try. They're trying their best, but it ain't working. Now we have two mutant toilets. They have a lot of HP. As long as we could like melt them quite a bit here in the first half, I think we'll be able to take out the second one because, well, I don't know, guys. I mean, they, that's going to be a lot of damage that we have to deal with here. And I think they might stun. If they stun my UTC, but once again, don't forget my camera repair drones here. So they can't really stun the UTC. He's going to be fine. But I mean, these guys are concerning because that is a lot of HP. However, we do have two guys over here that I think are very, very capable of taking them out. Sadly, though, we're not going to really get a lot of money from this uh, this wave here. I don't even know if we're going to be able to upgrade them after this wave, guys. So we might have to survive wave 17, which is the level 3 UTC. And that might be kind of difficult. So we'll have to, you know, we'll have to see what happens here. Here we go, though. We should be able to wipe these guys out pretty soon. At least they're quick. At least we don't have to, you know, wait too long like the vacuums. I hate when the vacuums... Well, it's good that the vacuums spin because if they didn't, they'd be nearly impossible to take out because they're so strong. But here we go. Can we get them? I mean, I think we could. Once this guy starts attacking too, my other, like, little ninja guy, I think that's going to be really, really excellent for us. Come on, come on. A little bit more, a little bit more. Yep, he does stun, so that's not good. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice, guys. Let's go. We got him. All right, so now we're definitely going to get stunned by that boss, I think, here. That's going to be a little annoying. Look at all these buzz saws, too. Uh-oh, guys. This could potentially be trouble if I do not get enough money to uh, upgrade here. Uh-oh, come on. Come on, come on. Let's uh, let's auto-skip. I'm going to auto-skip for one reason, guys, just to try to get enough money to, to be able to upgrade our guy. Because if I can get enough money to upgrade our UTC, I'm going to feel pretty confident about this. Come on, start attacking those spiders for me, bud. Start attacking those spiders. We need to get the money. 
I'm gonna go for last. Oh, no, 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 no. Strongest, no. Weakest, no. All right, first. Just go first, go first, please. All right, we got the upgrade, though. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, hopefully that guy doesn't stun us. Hopefully that second one stuns us. If he does, then we're gonna have enough time to take him out. Perfect, exactly what I wanted, guys. Let's go. And wow, look at the range I have. I can almost cover the whole track. That's so wild, guys. Once I seriously get one, like, over here, I'm gonna cover the entire track. This challenge, the Mythic only, it might be doable, guys. I mean... It's going to be close. No guarantees by any means. It's definitely going to be really close, but it's going to be fun to try to actually beat it. Let's see if we get stunned here. We might. Yeah, I got stunned, but don't forget, guys, I have the camera repair drone, so he immediately unstunned us, which is nice. All right, let's go ahead, skip again. I'm pretty confident that we'll be fine here. I should have brought, like, the dancing speaker woman, too, just as, like, a, another unit to place down. Just one of them. That would have been fun to have, but it don't matter. I think we'll be okay. All right, though. Here we go. Yep, you guys can see we're getting stunned there, but once again, we have the camera repair drone, so not a big deal. Let's actually upgrade some of our scientist cameramen so we get some more money here, and more money equals more upgrades, and then, you know, we'll be able to get some stronger UTCs down here. Once I get the next upgrade, our cooldown goes down, and the radius stays the same. That's okay, but we get AoE damage, which is super, super powerful. So that's going to be pretty darn cool. Now, let's skip again, though, just because... You know, that guy is just going to take too long. Now, we have a UFO that could stun us as well, but not too concerning. We'll get him. I mean, look at us lighting him up right now. He didn't even go invisible yet, so he's going to be in big trouble here pretty soon. I think we'll be good. I think we'll be good. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. All right. Whoa, we're getting hit with a couple of rockets here, guys. That's kind of scary. Let's work on these vacuums next, though. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, we got one vacuum there. They each have 70k HP, which is quite a bit, but I think we're going to be okay. We keep getting stunned by this stupid flying rocket launcher toilet, though. That's annoying. Let's uh, upgrade our cam repair drone just to be on the safe side here. And then uh, we need to upgrade him one more time. And then, I mean, his energy gain goes up to four, which is, like, incredible. I mean, we, you know, we should be able to survive the stuns. I mean, we just got stunned, like, four times right there from the UFO. And we were capable of being okay. Cool. Now, we just have a bunch of vacuum toilets. They're really annoying, like I said once before, because... We can't reach them, but we might be able to reach them now when they spin because we got that extra radius boost. Come on. Yes, we could. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. They might suck up our ninja cam over here, but that's okay. I think we'll do enough damage to take them all out. I hope. I mean, I don't know. It's looking a little sus right now. I'm not going to lie, guys. Look at this. It's looking a little sus. Let's drop down another guy just to help out with the damage there. And then uh, hopefully we'll be able to kill them all. Come on. Get them, get them, get them, get them, get them. There's two more. Oh, this is going to a little bit concerning. This is a little teeny tiny bit concerning, guys. Uh oh, come on. Get him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. No. Okay, well, let's delete this guy right here. Place him right there, and let's try to upgrade him real quick to be able to take him out. Come on. It's up to you, uh, Ninja. Come on, bro. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Let's go. The clutch, man. Yo. Sweet job right there, buddy. Good work. Good work. That's what we like. That's what we need from the squad, guys. We need clutches like that, so we'll keep that ninja on hand just uh, in case we need him at some point during the match, and then we'll have to toss him down, okay? So, you know, we might have to do that again. I don't want to place too many ninjas down because this is like a mythic-only challenge, so, you know, I only have that one ninja to be able to use here, so I got to use him wisely, and I was really, really lucky right there. I could have brought in, like, a secret agent as well, I guess, for this challenge. I feel like that would have been a good uh, extra unit too, but it'll be okay, I think. I guess we'll see here. I'm going to put down the ninja, though, right here to just bait a stun, as you guys can see. Nice little bait right there. Nice little bait. Nice little bait. Now we got a rocket, so can we take him out there, please? Please, 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 please. Nice. Let's go, guys. All right, though. I really want to get this, uh, you know, UTC upgraded again, but I'm, it might be better to go for this one. More radius, more damage. This one only, like, that next upgrade, 8k, just to get more, uh, I mean, just to get AoE. It's not going to be crucial yet. It's going to be more important to be able to take out, like, the single target damage on, like, the, the big bosses and stuff. So, that's why I upgraded this guy, and I even might upgrade him again. And then, uh, we'll have two really strong units. I know they don't have AoE yet, but it'll be fine. Plus, we get more radius here. We might be able to cover more of the track, which is pretty cool. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice job, guys. There we go. We don't have enough just yet, but very close, very close. After this next wave, we might be able to get the 4K upgrade, and then maybe I'll upgrade my scientist cameraman again, and then uh, we'll go from there. For that, okay, good. My camera repair drone actually covers my other UTC as well, which is pretty cool. Okay, those UFOs are going to be a bit of a problem, but 
I mean, I think we'll be able to get them. I hope we'll be able to get them. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see here soon. All right, if we can at least take out these flying rocket launcher toilets, I'll feel pretty safe. If not, then we're going to be in trouble. Those UFOs are getting really, really far here. That could be concerning, guys. That could be a little bit concerning for us. Uh-oh. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go here. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to skip just to get some extra money. If I could at least uh, maybe kill some of these guys, get some extra money, we'll be good. If not, well, we're going to have to do it what we could. All right. There we go. Come on. Melt them. Melt them. Melt them. Melt them. Melt them. Please. Hurry. Hurry. All right. This is so bad, guys. See, this is where I could have really used a secret agent here because now I am going to be in deep trouble. I'm going to be just completely honest with you guys. Deep trouble here. Uh-oh. Yep, we're in trouble. We're in trouble. I'm gonna have to sell this guy. Get down this dude over here. Upgrade him up. And hope for the best. Here we go. I just got stunned, though. That's so not good. That's so not good, guys. We gotta delete him. Get this dude down right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. No, we're gonna lose. We are actually gonna lose. All right, we gotta get our ninja down right there. Get him upgraded a little bit. And I think we're gonna be in trouble. That one's stunned. So, yeah, we lost, guys. Well, it was a good run. The Mythic Only Challenge has defeated us, unfortunately, on Wave 24. No. Well, let's go ahead and try it on hard mode. That is a tough challenge, guys. I think next time I would bring in the Dancing Speaker Woman or at least a Secret Agent to help out every once in a while. But, um, you know, if we had that, I think we would have been okay there, unfortunately. I would try it again, but should I try it again with the Secret Agent, guys? Would that be fun? I don't know. Would it be better to do that, or should I try the other mode? Maybe it would be more fun to play on uh, on Nightmare. Let's try it one more time on Nightmare mode, but let's bring in the Secret Agent, and I think that might be the, the difference here, okay? So, if I can't win, though, then I'm going to have to give out that Mythic to you guys. So, let's try this. Let's start it up. Let's see if we can beat it on Nightmare mode, and let's go from there. What's up, Alex? How you doing, man? Shout out to you. I just saw him in my game. Yo, what's up, buddy? All right. One more time, guys. One more time. Am I going to have enough time, though? Oh, I actually might not have enough time for this. All right. Well, luckily, the game glitched out because I'm going to have to resume this video once uh, I get back. I'm going out to dinner, so I'll be right back, guys. For you, it's going to be one second. For me, it's going to be a few hours, but uh, three, two, one, boom, I'm back. Okay, guys, so here we are. We're back from dinner, and we're back at it on Toilet Tower Defense. Once again, guys, this is Nightmare Mode, and we're just going to place down our first two scientists here just to, you know, help us get extra money during the game. We're going to put on auto skip, and then we're going to try to get on, like, with the, uh, the Ninja Cameraman, like, right here again in this, like, same kind of area. I feel like this was a pretty decent spot. I might even do it. Well, I should probably do it, like, right here, honestly, right? That's probably the best spot possible. And then, uh, soon enough, we'll have enough money to upgrade him again, and, I mean, that's going to be good because once we get him upgraded, you know, it should, uh, you know, help us, like, like resist like all these you know huge uh hordes of enemies here because like once like you know there's a lot of spider like not spiders but the small toads and you know, like right now they're kind of spaced out but the problem is when you get a bunch of them that are going super fast unfortunately the ninja caveman can't attack all of them that's why sometimes people prefer the speaker guy like the dark speaker man but i don't know i don't really care i really use this guy he's more uh more powerful damage is a little bit better so that's why i tend to use this one and I don't know if you guys can tell, I kind of placed this guy a little bit away from the track this time. And I did that for the reason of, you know, like, remember last game I was getting stunned by, like, the buzz saws and stuff? Well, this game, I'm kind of hoping that, you know, we can avoid that. That would be pretty ideal. But once again, we're just going to have to kind of wait and see how that goes down. So we'll find out soon, I guess, right? Now, we do have auto skip on again. I should probably turn that off. But you know what? We're going to leave it on because I get some more money here. More money equals... You know, better shot at winning this. I'm going to get down another scientist uh, cameraman. That way we get some more money. And then here we go with the big horde of enemies. Let's turn off auto skip right now and kind of see if we can handle this. This is going to be kind of tough. But, you know, we're going to have the ability to one hit all these enemies that come after us. But are we going to be able to take them all out? I don't know. We should be able to get all these guys. But I don't know about that next wave. As you guys can kind of see, they're all grouped up like that. There's so many of them. It's ridiculous. So I don't think we're going to be able to get all of them. But still... No worries, we'll be fine. We'll uh, we'll clutch it up. Honestly, I I'm really not concerned. I'm just gonna skip though because you know I might be able to get the next upgrade. It's just gonna help out, do a little bit more damage. Obviously, it doesn't help against these guys once again, but it will in fact help against the boss when we have to deal with him. That's for darn sure. Now we took out as many of these guys as we could do. You know, it, once again, like last time we played, I think we got 150 damage taken off of us, but. There's not much we could really do to prevent that, so we're just going to have to deal with it and kind of hope for the best here. And, you know, I, I mean, I think we're going to be okay. 
Now, that Mutant Toad's gonna be really annoying. You know, last time, I think they uh, got to us and, you know, did damage, which kind of sucked, but that's okay. Let's see how much damage we uh, take here, though. Is it gonna be 150 again? Because that's what it was last time. I didn't do anything different than last time, so it should be that again. Well, look at that. It's actually 260 this time. We actually got one more unit. Probably because I, I moved him off the uh, this corner there a little bit more, so he's actually able to hit a few more guys. That's probably why that uh, we took out a little bit more that time. So that's good, right? Can't complain. Can't complain. Now, we need to just save up a bunch of money, get this guy upgraded to level 5, and then we'll get down the UTS again. And then, I mean, we should be good from there. I mean, you guys saw last time the UTS helped out a ton. It's just, uh, we really need to have a secret agent on for this challenge because we can't rely solely on mythics. They take too much money to upgrade, so we're going to have to have a little bit of help. Otherwise, this challenge will be nearly impossible. Now, let's skip this wave and get some extra money here. Otherwise, we're going to be in big trouble. So, boom, boom, boom. Come on. Get them. Are we really not going to be able to get these guys? What's going on? Last time we had no issue at all. I swear. We literally had no issue last time, you know, taking these guys out. But this time, we have a huge issue here. Like, what's up with that? Come on now. We got to be better than this. We actually have to be better. For real. We are going to be in not too much trouble here. But let's just take this guy out. We don't want to get damaged by him right away. So, there we go. And nice. All right, cool. All right, cool, cool, cool. We're good. We're chilling. And now, you know, we just will save up for the UTC. I mean, we're going to have him shortly. This time, I'm kind of thinking about putting him, like, right here. Because it, we're going to get way more map coverage. And I'm kind of just thinking that that might be key for, uh, you know, winning on this game mode. So, let me try to get him, like, right here in the middle. And I think that's going to be perfect. Now, that's not a good spot right now. Don't get me wrong. I know that. But, you know, once we get him upgraded a little bit, it's going to be way better. But for right now, it's kind of trash because... It's not going to be attacking for very long at all, but once again, I'm not too concerned about it. We'll be okay. Fingers crossed, right? All right, here we go. We got a big group of spiders. I mean, the spiders, how much health do they have? They have almost a thousand, so they're a little annoying, but we'll get them. Hopefully, those assassins our uh, UTC could handle, which he did, so that's good. And here's our first buzzsaw guy. Now, once again, we might not be able to take him out with what we have, so I might have to drop the secret agent on him, and I'm not too uh, concerned about that. You know, we'll do it, save us uh, some health. That way we can at least tank, like, one boss hitting us or something like that. And uh, we won't, like, immediately lose. Actually, no. Well, yeah, we could take one boss. We could if we if we really had to. I don't want to by any means. Don't get me wrong here. But if we had to get damaged by one boss or whatever. But we still might be able to kill this guy in time. If I go like this and bait a stun. Watch this. This might be cheaper. See, I baited a stun there. And come on, come on, come on, come on. Get him, get him, get him. We're so close. We're so so close guys i'm not gonna waste the uh the thousand there let's just go like that save the thousand boom easy all right cool and then we should be good with that cool stuff guys cool stuff so now that little uh ninja cameraman right there he could just bait stuns that's a pretty good idea for him i mean it's gonna be good because anytime uh you know a bigger unit comes by we'll be able to like get stunned the unit will slow down and then the other guy will clutch up and so will the utc and we get more of them down too so that's the plan. Let's do it. All right. Now, look at that radius increase, like, with just one upgrade right there. We can cover so much of the track now, guys. It's actually, like, really nice. All right, though. Here we go. We got the bosses back on the track. Very, very close to us. And uh, we are melting them, though, pretty quickly here. So that is a, a good sign. But we are going to have to take them out a little bit quicker, guys. Come on, now. We'll be fine. We'll be fine here, right? Come on. There we go. And we have each of our scientist cameramen upgraded to level two now. So level two means we're going to be getting 400 extra dollars every round, guys, which is very nice. So that's good. That's good. All right. What do we got over here? We have a mutant 2.0 and just a bunch of other like low tier units. So wave 13 is pretty easy. I'm not concerned. Honestly, I would just go about skipping right now, but there are a few extra guys. So let's uh, just make sure we can handle them. And then that mutant, if we have to, we can just drop a scientist uh, or a secret agent on him, and then we'll be fine. Let's skip, though, get some more money. And then soon enough, I'll be able to get uh, $3,000, upgrade our guy again. He'll be doing eight or 900 damage plus 10 range. We'll cover most of the map, which is really, really good for us. So that's the plan here. Let's do it. And come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. We got all these bosses now, but we're going to be focusing up on this mutant toilet, which is okay. But those are a lot of bosses that we are going to have to take out here at some point. I could skip, get the extra money. I'm going to skip. Let's do it. Let's get the extra money, guys. Just so I could uh, get this 3,000 upgrade. And, like, all these guys should be pretty free here. So, let's not worry about them. There we go. 
And, uh, yeah, so now we're doing much more damage here. So, you know, that's exactly what we needed. So let's get it, guys. Come on, we got this. We got it, we got it, we got it. Uh-oh, though. Those bosses are really close. And my guy got stunned. We should be fine, though. Come on, clutch up, ninja. There we go. Good job, buddy. And uh, here we go, guys. We have some vacuums on the map. Those could prove to be a problem, but... I mean, luckily, like, right now, as you guys can see, like, we're covering so much of this track that our UTC can hit these guys basically anywhere they are. So, I mean, he's already taken out most of them. There's only a few left at this point. And it's like, he's not doing AoE yet, but as you guys can see, we damaged a few of them. So, at least a few of them are weakened up here. That's really good. Now, we have one vacuum to it. They each have 60k HP. The one's almost dead already, too. They are moving slightly faster than the bosses, but we are able to, uh... To not have to worry about them too much because don't forget those like spin and then they you know they're gonna just sit there and kind of waste their time for a little bit which is pretty good so here we go though guys we have well, how many more bosses here a few more so unfortunately though one of those guys might actually get through remember we did skip unfortunately so that could cost us a little bit and uh, just could be a little bit of a detriment to the team but you know what i'm not too worried about it we'll get him let's just drop this guy down and then uh, we might have to spend some more money here and get a few of the other guys. But you know what? It is what it is. Let's just get them and we don't have to worry about it too much. There we go. There we go. And it's a little bit of a waste of money. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, you got to do what you got to do to survive. Come on. Now, please get him. Don't make me have to waste more money. Come on. Come on. Oh, so close, guys. Ooh, the snipe from the UTC. Yo, we needed that, guys. We actually needed that big time. That was huge. That was huge. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go, let's go. Now, these guys have almost 100k HP now. That's going to be a little concerning for us. At some point, I might get down another guy, like right here. This way, we'll have full map control and coverage. Or even like right here might be better. That way, we'll cover all of this track, all of this track, and then all of that track with the other guy. And that's going to be really, really ideal. All right, I'm not going to skip just yet because last time you guys saw what happened, I skipped and then I had to play Secret Agents. When you have to do that, you lose a lot of money and we need a lot of money because otherwise we're going to be in big trouble. Now, don't forget, guys, we're going to need to get down the camera repair drone because remember what's going to happen. We're going to start getting stunned here because there's going to be UFOs and whatnot coming after us and UFOs are going to be deadly versus us. They are going to be a humongous problem. But we're going to have to figure it out. And so are these bosses. But we might be far back enough to where we don't have to deal with it. But I don't think so. I think we're still going to have to, unfortunately, deal with them here. But I think we'll get them. I think we'll get them. Come on. You got this, guys. You got this. You got this. Dual blade toilet's kind of getting lit up right now. So that's good, too. These buzz saws are going so fast. But they're going to be uh, in the line of uh, fire now. So there we go. We're getting them. And then uh, we'll just have to deal with the boss and the dual blade. He's not a boss, but he has a lot of HP. But he moves so slow. Not worried about him. He's also going to get in the stun trap. So that's good. There we go. And we almost have enough to upgrade our guy again here. So that's sweet. There we go, guys. Nice. All right. That boss toilet has 100. Well, 80k health right now. So he's going to, you know, die here pretty soon. And the next upgrade gives us plus 10 more range as well. And 600 extra damage. So we are going to be doing tons of damage here. Very soon. Very, very soon. If we can take out this boss, get a little teeny tiny bit more money, then we'll be golden, guys. We will be golden. Come on. We're so close to getting the boss, guys. He has... Oh, he double stunned us. Please don't make me have to waste my, uh, my money here. I'll be so upset if I have to. Okay, let's auto skip. Come on. He has... Okay, good job, Ninja. He clutched up there. And then we're going to get the upgrade here very shortly. We just need $100. And boom. Nice. All right. Cool stuff. I'm really just worried about Wave 25 again. Remember when the uh, two UFOs came after us? That was like two hours ago. But I remember that happened. And the one UFO unfortunately got by. And there was really nothing I could have done about it. But the thing is, the thing that I'm thinking here, the big problem is, remember, I, I don't think I can place more than one camera. Yeah, you can only place one camera repair drone. So I'll just end up getting stunned, and that will not be good. So maybe I just stack the other guy, like, right here, but I put him on this side so he can reach more of this of the track. That'll be my plan. All right, let's do that. We'll try that up and see if that uh, works out for us. If not, well, we'll be in trouble, but I think we'll be okay. Here's wave 20 right now. First UFO on the track. This uh, one guy can't really see him, so that's not good, but there we go. We're getting some shots on him now. 
cool stuff. Let's upgrade our camera repair drone so it gets up to 100% uh, repairs. And we'll go from there. Look at all these vacuums, though. The vacuums are going to be a problem now, aren't they? That's a lot of vacuums. I mean, I think we'll end up getting most of them here pretty soon. But luckily, my guy can cover most of the map. You guys can see, like, look at that. I'm not, when I say most of the map, I'm not even kidding. I mean, check that out, guys. He straight up covers most of the map. That is awesome. It's just the, uh, the back half that's a little scary. But don't forget, I have the secret agent. So worst case scenario, we'll secret agent any UFO that gets by. And then that's a free kill. So, you know, completely fine. Completely fine. We'll be chilling. Now, here we go on these guys as well. They're coming on around, and we'll take them out here pretty soon. There's uh, four of them that remain. And I just realized, guys, I don't know why I've been placing the scientist cameraman back here these last two games. I should have had them just right here to help out with stunning. Or even, like, one here, you know, spread them out a little bit, one over here. I don't know why I did that. That was actually a mistake on my part there. That was a, a bad, bad move on my part. Oh, well, though, too late now. It's already wave 20. Not much that we're going to do to change that now, right, guys? So we're going to work with what we got. I could upgrade them, but uh, you know what? I will. Let's do it. Let's upgrade them. Just because extra money. Can't complain, right? Come on. Get them, guys. Get them, get them, get them, get them. We have buzz saws, rocket toilets, all that stuff. You know, they are a little scary, but we are in a better position this time. So I think we're going to be okay here. Come on now. Clutch up, guys. We got four more buzz saws, one more rocket, three more buzz saws. We're going to be okay. Come on, get them, guys. Get them, get them, get them. The Rocket Toilet has less than, like, half HP now, too, so I think we're going to be just fine. Come on. Any second now. Any second, any second. One more to go. And three, two, one. And we are golden. Cool. All right, let's skip there. What do I need $3,000 to get the next upgrade on this UTC. Going to give us more range, more damage. Can't complain about that whatsoever. So we'll get that pretty soon, guys. Pretty soon here in, like, two seconds, right? There we go. Cool, guys. Cool, cool, cool. Look at that. We are smoking these guys. So just remember, we did lose on wave 25 last time. Let's try to avoid it this game. We'll see what happens here. All right, let's get this uh, upgrade on that guy. And then I will upgrade this one as well once we get in our $200, which should be any second. Now, I'm kind of debating on like, should I be upgrading this guy with the $8,000? I mean, it does put the cooldown down a lot, which I mean... Getting that cooldown like 0.05 seconds like quicker is going to be insane amount of more damage for us. Plus the AOE upgrade. I mean, that would be very, very nice. But it is $8,000, which is pretty darn expensive. Now, here we go with the two UFOs on the track. Let's see if we can handle them a little bit better this time because we have the better placement, I think. And we should be able to, but I guess we'll see here. Maybe I could upgrade. Uh, I probably shouldn't upgrade the camera repair drone because if I do, then I'm risking not having enough money to... um get the secret agents here which we are probably gonna need for the one ufo at least just don't forget remember the one ufo snuck by last time and sadly killed us so that is uh kind of our concern right now and the one thing that we do have to worry about so let's uh focus up on him and then we'll be good we got that ufo almost dead so that's cool there we go just one more ufo and then like a few of those guys but our uh, camera repair drone seems to be doing just fine right now so as you guys can see, this dude is getting pretty far, but we'll take him out. Actually, we might not even have to. We might get him this time without even the secret agent, so that would be pretty cool. I'm not going to waste him just yet. Let's see if he can handle him. He might be able to. Come on. We're so close. We actually almost killed it. Come on, come on, come on, come on. So close. Let's go. I didn't even have to waste the money, guys. That's sweet. All right. Well, I could invest in myself here and, and uh, do the, the purchase upgrade for my scientist cameraman, but you know what? Let's send it and let's just get on to the next wave. I'm going to start saving up for the 4,000 upgrade here. And then, uh, you know, we'll go from there. Kind of see if, uh, we, you know, we'll be fine here or not. I mean, getting that next upgrade, once again, is going to increase our damage and radius by, a, like, a, a just ton. So, you know, that that's really, really good for DPS. Let's just do that. And then we'll worry about the 8,000 upgrade, I think. And then we'll, uh, we'll go from there, okay? Let's try that. Let's try that. I mean, we're halfway through the game on Nightmare Mode, which is pretty darn good. Just using pretty much Mythics. I mean, like, these ninjas... They, they're just necessary for the beginning of the game, but after that, you don't even need them. Honestly, like, let's be real here. They are not necessary after half, like, the first 10 rounds. That's it. That's the only time they come in clutch. Now, these guys are cooking over here. I got them both upgraded to level 4, so that's super, super good. They're doing double the damage now. And uh, these waves are going to, you know, start probably being better for us, I think, right? I mean, we can pretty much cover all the track, like, most of it. Not Obviously, not the back half, but the back half... If they get there, we're in, we got deeper problems than that, right? All right, here we go, though. Wave 25. 
I think I might have lost on wave 25 because I auto skipped twice because of the UFOs. So uh, that's why I lost on wave 25. Technically, I lost on wave 23 last time I played, but you guys get the point. Here we go with our first uh, dual flying bus side toilet. That could be an issue for us. It could be. Not going to say that it's definitely going to be an issue, but keep in mind it does have 300,000 HP. That's kind of scary, guys. That's kind of scary. Don't get me wrong, but we'll, uh, we'll work on it. We'll see what we can do here. We almost killed it. Luckily, it can't stun us right now because we're far enough off the track, so it can't reach. And three, two, one. Come on, get them. Those, those rocket launch toilets are uh, getting pretty far, so we got to take them out next. Come on. One more to go. And then, uh, you know, maybe just upgrade these scientists' cameramen for extra money. Come on, hurry up. There we go. Ooh, I got that just in time. So we're getting 600 800 $1,000 extra every single round, guys. That is a lot of extra money. So let's just upgrade this guy as well. We'll upgrade this dude as well. And then now we're going to be getting an extra 1200 every single time we complete a wave, which is incredible extra amount of money for us, guys. Let's just keep that in mind there. Like 1200 extra dollars. I mean, just eight waves alone. That's going to pay for like almost a whole like level six uh, UTC upgrade. So that's crazy. All right, though, we have a bunch of dual blade toilets. They're kind of annoying. And then we had the large glasses toilet. But luckily, we don't have the cinema man, so we can actually hit him. So I'm not too scared about that guy. I'm just kind of trying to decide here which dude do I do the AOE on. Because, I mean, if I do it on this guy, I don't know if it's going to have enough radius to even reach the track. But... I, I mean, I don't know, guys. It's a tough choice. It's a tough choice. Maybe I do try him. I'll try him, because why not? It'll, it'll, we'll see. It'll be like a tester. I mean, it's still not going to be a waste of upgrade, because we're going to be able to attack quicker. So, you know, I'll still save up, get the 8K. We're going to have about 4K after this uh, wave ends here. So I think like one or two more waves, especially if we get like an easy money wave soon. You know, we're going to have enough money to like smoke all these guys and then you know, we're just going to keep getting uh, UTCs down, you know, mythic onlys, and uh, we'll be good. We'll be chilling here. All right, let's skip. And we got some UFO toilets, mutant toilets, and just some other guys. So this isn't really, like necessarily a free wave, but I do think that we are going to uh, take out all these enemies with not too much of a problem. However, I guess we'll see here soon. Uh-oh, though we do. Okay, no, this is not a free wave at all, guys. This is one of the hardest waves we can deal with. <laughs> Uh-oh. There are is so many different enemies, but I do have, you know, $4,000. So if anything does, in fact, get by us, I will be able to kill them. No issue, because remember, we brought the secret agent. So just as a little backup to make this challenge actually doable. But here we go. We got rocket toilets on the map. The problem is going to be this guy. He's got like 200k HP. So he's really quick. I mean, eh, maybe he won't be a problem. That's a really cool... Uh, cool toilet though i haven't i don't really play nightmare mode that much because like when i stream and stuff we just do like media mode because i feel like that's better to play with like random viewers because sometimes my viewers don't have the best units and then uh we just lag out the game and lose so i'd rather that not happen whoa look at this guy whoa look at his face it's an interesting face what is he called buzzsaw mutant toilet okay all right buzzsaw mutant toilet let's see how strong you are buddy he's got 300k hp now that is a lot of hp it's definitely nothing to mess around with, but I think we'll be able to handle him. I mean, look at us go, guys. We are kind of smoking him. Hopefully, he stuns us. He did stun us there, so he wasted a little teeny tiny bit of time. Time is key in this game. All right, come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him. I mean, I should have a bunch of... Oh, I have definitely enough time to kill him. Easily, guys. Let's go. And then we're going to get enough money to upgrade our guy to level 5. So, sweet. There we go. Level 5, guys. Let's upgrade this dude. So he's doing AoE, but unfortunately... That AoE is not doing anything because the range isn't big enough. But when I upgrade him again, it might be big enough to cover at least that part of the track. And that's going to be pretty good, right? All right. Now, look at how much... Okay, so also keep in mind when we get this cooldown in this next upgrade, it's going to get into 0.1 seconds. So, so much extra damage, guys. It's actually ridiculous. And you can tell already that we're doing so much more damage because we're attacking every 0.15 seconds instead of 0.2. And it's just lighting these rocket toilets up right now. So, let's just... uh kind of stay with that energy here and go from there did i upgrade all these guys to level four i did okay so i'm not gonna upgrade them again i just feel like that's a little bit of a waste so let's just uh kind of chill with what we got here and it does look like we're doing that burning like blue damage so the aoe is hitting them so that's good and uh, we got one more to go here so 
I mean, we're gonna be fine. They, they are going kind of quick, but our guys have these machine guns, as you guys can see, and they mean business. So there we go. Come on, take him out. Boom, nice. We have four thousand four hundred dollars, and uh, soon enough we will have ten k. Once we have ten k, we will be able to get this max upgrade, and we will be lighting these guys up with twenty thousand DPS. Just think about how much that is, guys. That's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. Let's put it that way. Okay. Here we go. We only got three enemies on this wave. This was kind of a joke wave, but I mean, they are really strong. This guy's got like almost 400k, 150 on this one, and then 300k on that one. So they are really, really strong units here, but we will be able to get them. Should be able to get them, I should say, right? We don't want to be overconfident. Sometimes when you sleep on the enemy, they just sneak up on you and get you. So we got to be careful here. We are getting stunned a lot too. So luckily we have that camera repair drone helping us out. And that's going to be big for us. Here we go with the flying rocket launcher toilet. We got him. And then we just got one more enemy to go. This is the one that has like 300k HP. But we'll still be able to get him, I think. Pretty much no problem. And yeah. There we go. Come on. Soon enough here. We got 150k HP to go. And three, two, one. And come on. Get him. He like got stunned there or something. He wasn't shooting. All right. Cool. We got him, guys. Let's go. Let's auto skip there. We got $7,000. Just need a little teeny tiny bit more. These mutant toilets only have 40k. That's nothing. We'll get those guys taken out in no time. And then uh, even maybe this wave will have enough money to be able to do this. And if I could just get that AoE, that would be so nice. You guys can still see. I can't really reach yet. Eventually, I'll plop down probably like uh, a UTC like right here in this area. Sadly though, like keep in mind, it's going to get stunned. So that's going to be annoying for them. But, you know, we'll see what we can do. I don't know. Maybe... To how far can our camera... Okay, maybe we'll get one towards the front over here and our camera drone could actually get him. So, that'll be good. That would be very, very good. I do need to upgrade the camera repair drone. Don't get me wrong. It's only $800. But I think if I get the next upgrade on the UTC here, that's just uh, better off for us because, I mean, the more damage... You know, you're not going to win by upgrading your medic. You're going to win by doing damage, right, guys? You know, defense is not the way to play this game. You got to be always on the attack, I feel like. All right, though. So... I mean, how much health do these guys have? Let's see here. Seven, or no. 107,000. Whoa, that guy's got 500k HP, guys. Hold up, I didn't even see that till just now. If I could just get a little bit more money here, that would be really nice. Should I auto-skip? I don't know if wave 30 is hard or not. I'm going to do it real quick here. Get the, the 10,000 upgrade, and then uh, we'll go from there. Just so I can get that next upgrade, which is going to be big for us. There we go. It looks like we are getting stunned by those guys somehow. That's kind of unfortunate, but... And then these uh, glass toilets aren't going to be a big deal at all. And then we got some rocket toilets on the map and some more buzz saws. We'll take them out. Let's just drop a secret agent down right here to, to help out. I think we're going to need one. So there we go. We'll drop down a second one just to help out. And then uh, here we go with all these mean enemies. So can we take them all out? I mean, most of them. Look at the range, guys. The range seriously covers most of that. And then let's upgrade our camera repair drone now to just, you know, get some uh, extra, like, speed on, like, you know, healing and stuff. So that's good. I don't even know what it's at right now. So the energy gain is plus 2, and then radius is plus 20. So that's going to help us cover this whole entire place. So soon enough, we'll be able to drop down some more UTCs here, guys. All right. Let's uh, take out this giant dual blade buzzsaw guy, and then uh, we'll move on to the next wave. I'm just going to speed this up so we don't have to wait as long. There we go. We got stunned, but it don't matter. And uh, we just did an extra 100k damage right there, so that's pretty nice. Did I need to do that? Nah, it's a waste of $500, but I'm feeling pretty confident. We'll also get that back from our... Uh, you know, scientist guys over here. I'm actually going to upgrade one of these guys just for extra money, guys. I mean, come on. We, we, we can't uh, can't argue with getting more money, right? I mean, let's be real here. More money equals more upgrades. I always got to remember that. All right. Check this out, though. The, the UTC is going to be doing that AOE damage. And I mean, look, at he's cooking them up, guys. He is. I mean, that's no joke. Like, he almost killed that flying rocket launcher toilet just with AOE. That's amazing. That is actually amazing. Let's go. Sweet. Now, we could actually upgrade one more of these guys over here. So let's do that. And then uh, we'll take out these two dudes. And then we'll get on to wave 33. So far, the Mythic Only Challenge is looking pretty good. And, uh, you know, this is the Mythic Only Challenge. My rules, obviously, if you guys want to try this with actually Mythics Only, well, you'll see what happens. You're just going to lose. So don't please don't be mad in the comments because I'm doing this with a few extra units. Like, we need a starter unit. Otherwise, it's impossible. We need these guys to get extra money. Or once again, it's impossible. And we definitely need a camera repair drone, or it's impossible. We also, I mean, maybe we don't need a secret agent, but it's nice to have it just to speed up the game a little bit. And it's a, you know, a little bit of a clutch unit. I mean, I tried before, you guys saw me lose. So having it this time is definitely really helpful, and I like it. So 
you know, I don't mind having it. I feel like it's not cheating because it's not on the map doing damage the whole time. It's just there just in case, you know? All right, though, we just need 4,000 more dollars. We get the next, the next upgrade on the uh, UTC, and then I go from there. Those parasites could be a problem. It seems like they can't reach us, though, because if they were able to, he would have jumped on me, but I don't think he had enough room to do it. So we'll, uh, we'll get him soon. He'll be dead. And then, uh, yeah, we should have enough money to upgrade here very shortly, guys. Look at that. All those guys are so weak just from the uh, UTC's, like, AoE damage. I swear, we might even be spawn trapping in this game. I'm not even kidding, guys. We might be spawn trapping here pretty soon. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Come on. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. And we got him. Let's go. All right. We need $300. I'm actually... Uh, I'll get the upgrade just to help our guy out do some more damage. So let's focus up on that. You know, we'll get that upgrade here in one more kill. And then, uh, you know, maybe we can spend some extra money we get from this wave on, like, upgrading our scientist cameraman because... You know, like I said, getting a, what, what is it, 500 now? Or, no, it's, so every round, yeah, every round I get 500 from these two guys right here. So that's 1,000, and then 1,600 because those other two, which is just crazy. We'll be getting 2K extra dollars every wave. Like, wow. That is wild. This guy's the laser UFO toilet. He's really bad, like, could be bad for us, but luckily we're far enough back that he's not stunning us too much. The flamethrower as well could be bad, but once again, if you don't have your guys, like, right along the track, they're not too scary. I mean, you're kind of avoiding all the main problems with them, so that's good. I could drop down, a, uh, like, secret agent to help out here, but I do want to get that extra $100, put it into, uh, upgrading the scientist cameraman, that way we get some more money, so let's do that as soon as we get that kill. Three, two, one, and boom, there we go. And then that kill is done. Let's skip and on to the next wave, guys. Wave 35, 15 more to go. Wave 35 is usually a pretty tough one. Lots of bosses, lots of really, really dangerous enemies. So are we going to be able to handle it? Let's find out. So we got giant dual blades. We got 3.0 bosses, dual rocket launcher toilets. We have spider angry toilets, even a flashlight rocket launcher toilet, guys. Lots of mean stuff out here. But once again, you know, well, actually, you know what? This uh, camera repair drone is getting used up. That's kind of concerning because, once again, guys, if we lose the camera repair drone, you know, big problems will happen. That toilet right there is cruising. He's cooking, guys. What in the world? Come on, we got to get this boss. What do you guys say we drop down that right there just to help out a little bit? And then uh, we'll go from there. Come on, get these guys. Let's go. Let's go. Yep, light them on fire. That's really good for us. I mean, we're getting stunned really hard here. The, the camera repair drone's down to 62 HP. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh -oh, guys. This is bad. Come on, get that guy. Get that guy. Let's go, let's go, let's go. The flash... I never even really dealt with the flash guy light before, uh, but, you know, we, we have to deal with them now, so... I mean, I think we'll be able to handle it, but... It is a little nervous, but... Yeah, we got it. We got it. We're good. We're good, guys. We're chilling. All right. Let's just get down another guy right here, just for the heck of it. All right. He's gonna bait some stuns. I put him right there next to the track, so he baits some stuns. Let's do that. And then we'll, uh, slowly but surely get him upgraded as well. You know, getting him with AOE would be excellent because he could reach all these areas here. So, I'm going to just focus up on upgrading him. It would be nice to get this guy upgraded out of the way too here. I mean, I probably should, shouldn't I? Quality over quantity, guys. But, I mean, I would love to get this guy with some AOE. I think that would be pretty sick. But, we'll see how it goes. He is getting stunned, but remember that the uh, camera repair drone is just tanking it for him. So, pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. And then all these other guys are getting smoked. And then, uh... Yeah, we'll get on to the next wave here pretty soon. There's only three guys left, so that's pretty nice. That guy's gonna die there. Nice. And then we just got that, like, DJ-looking mutant toilet guy with hands that are saws. And he's got a nice... That hat looks pretty expensive. I would wear that hat. Look at those, uh... He's got the row beats on, I guess. I don't know what you call them. Like, beats, but the Roblox ones. All right. Dual rocket laser toilet. That's a scary unit right there, but we'll, we'll handle them. No problem. Let's auto-skip. There we go. Camera repair drone's maxed out, so we don't have to worry about that anymore. And then, uh, I just need, like, $5,000 to get the next upgrade. Let's upgrade that dude, though. Is there any more that I don't have fully upgraded? Okay, cool. I mean, I don't have them all fully upgraded, like, fully, fully upgraded, but, like, I mean, to all level 5, which they are now all level 5, so that's good. And that's going to produce us $2,000 extra every single round. So, let's... Let's get some Ws in the, in the comments for that. That's pretty insane. Okay, here we go, though. This is a pretty wild wave. Look at this, guys. Luckily, that AoE burn is going to be really effective here for us. So, a lot, a lot, a lot of enemies to deal with. But luckily, the AoE should help out a ton. And look at all the mutant 2.0s. Holy moly. And we have a claw toilet. That's going to be a problem, probably. No, actually not. Okay, cool. All right, all the mutants are almost dead, though. 
We have a few guys in the front here, of course, but we're getting stunned so much right now. Our uh, camera repair drone was exhausted, sadly, so now getting stunned could be a big issue. So just uh, keep that in mind. We might be getting stunned, and it will actually affect us now. So this is uh, definitely concerning, but the camera repair drone's kind of holding it down. It's back up to 20 health. 20 uh, percentage there so that's good we are getting slept though and those spiders are almost dead just to burn damage so that's cool claw toilet's almost dead he's what's stunning us a lot and now we just got those helicopters and let's skip we'll get this guy upgraded to level 10 or not level 10 but level 6 doing 10k damage per second and now we have two maxed out utcs guys sadly his aoe is not going to be too effective for us but it will hit them so we'll get the burn on at least so that's a lot of extra damage there for us. I don't know if it's like actually 20k, but whatever, it'll work out, right? All right, we need another $1,500 to get this guy some extra levels. And once we get this guy leveled up even more, I mean, come on guys, we're gonna be cooking here. These mythics are really holding it down. I feel like we don't even really need these guys anymore. Just sell them for extra money at this point. Like honestly, more money, better off we'll be. Let's do it, just need eight dollars literally and we'll get this upgrade nice i can actually reach over there now so this guy's not completely useless in the beginning like that but we're just getting stunned so much it's a little concerning however like i said luckily the camera repair drone got buffed in the beginning when it first came out that unit was actually really bad and it's kind of sucked because it cost me 200 robux but now it's actually worth it it's probably just as good as having medics down but i mean if you're playing in a group definitely have people with medics and uh, the camera repair drone because it's just good to have medics as well because they don't, you know, if you put them in the right spot, they won't get stunned as much, you know? All right, there we go. Cool stuff, guys. Let's, uh, you know, upgrade this. And also, if the uh, percentage gets down to zero, they can still help out every one second. Keep that in mind. Okay, we need an extra $100. $100, get the next upgrade here. More damage, more range, and we are going to be cooking these guys up. There we go. All right, wave 39, guys. I just have to remember to not accidentally auto-skip like I normally do. And I think we'll win this game. I hope. I, I don't know. It's no guarantee yet. But so far, so good. It's, I mean, it's not looking bad right now. And we're making really good timing, guys. For Nightmare Mode and only being 34 minutes into this game, I'm pretty, pretty happy about that. Let's be real. That's solid timing right there. Normally, it takes much, much, much longer than that. But right now, things are looking up for us. So let's, uh, let's hang in there. We almost got all those uh, vacuum toads dead just due to the AoE. That's why I said, guys, the AoE is just incredible. Look at all those vacuums. They're getting lit up right now. Sadly, this guy can't reach. That's kind of a bummer, but he'll be okay. This guy's going to have AoE as well pretty soon here. And then, I mean, I think soon enough, we're going to be spawn trapping, guys. Once we start spawn trapping, this game's going to get a whole lot easier. Now, let's skip here. We're good. And uh, let's turn off auto skip. We don't want to make that mistake like I just talked about. We just need $700. Once we get that, we'll get this upgrade. And then uh, we'll have even extra AoE. There we go, guys. AoE is going now. AoE is going crazy. Look at that burn damage that we're doing right now. Look at that. They are so weak. This is a, a breeze, guys. The flamethrower toilet is sadly hitting me right now. But oh, well, what could you do? We are we are hitting him as well, though. Look at, look at the burn. That was just straight from the burn. That was all due to the burn damage, guys. Wow. That's all I got to say. Just wow. Wow, 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 wow. These mythics are crazy. We have three units down right now, and they're carrying. They are literally carrying. All right, let's auto-skip again. We need uh, $6,000. Get the next upgrade, and then we're, you know, we'll be doing even 20,000 damage per second. So, come on. What, what more could you ask for at this point in this match? Wave 41. I think, you know, as I always say, and, you know, what people told me, wave 45 is the hardest wave. If we beat that... Wave 50 should be a breeze, and we'll win this game. This seems like a pretty easy wave. I don't know what, why we're getting a bunch of glasses to it still. Kind of weird, but here we go. We got two boss 2.0s. We got uh, another rocket launcher helicopter guy. No problem. Look at all the assassins, but the assassins, keep in mind, they're instantly dying due to the AoE, so they are no issue at all. We'll take them out super, super quick there. And then these bosses even, I mean, they're getting smoked too. Looks like we have a claw to it. He kind of stinks a little bit, but we'll get him. I'm not worried. We'll get him. We'll get him. Come on. Focus up, guys. Focus up. I can even drop down some, like, secret uh, agents here to help out. Just to, you know, move the game along a little bit there. But did I even need to do that? Once again, 
Probably not. Just a waste of money, but just to speed up the game a slight bit. I mean, we would have got him, but it might have had to wait till they got all the way around the track. And that would just waste your time, waste my time. I don't like wasting people's time. So let's auto skip, though. We're fine to get onto the next wave here. And we can upgrade this guy to level six. We could drop in a secret agent to help out with those UFOs there before I get stunned. There we go. Just, you know, get those UFOs, make the game go a little bit quicker. That's uh, my goal here. Just make the game go as quick as possible, of course. There we go. And now we got another. Uh oh. I don't have enough money. Just wasted all my money right now, guys. I better, better knock it off with that. I better just uh, get down in our UTC here. I think that's probably the smarter move for us. We could uh, toss him. Oh, no. Can I not fit him right there, really? Come on. Maybe. Okay, right there is good. Right there will do. That's enough AOE. It should be up. Yeah, that'll cover most of the map, so that's good. All right, cool. And, you know, we'll work on getting him upgraded pretty soon. I'm not sure how many. This might be the last one we're able to afford here, honestly. Because we're not going to be able to get too much more money. We're, we're, you know, we're already on wave 43, guys. So, there's only so much more money we're going to be able to, to uh, afford to get here. And then uh, the game's going to be over. Whoa! The helicopter bomb toilet. That one looks sick. That one looks so cool. Like the, uh, the nuclear bomb guy. All right. There we go. And I can upgrade him again, I think. There we go. Cool stuff. Yep, he just dropped a nuke on us there, but we're still fine. Let's uh, secret agent one of them. Cool. And, uh, yeah, I mean, they're both almost dead already. They each almost have a million HP, but even by having a million HP, we're still doing pretty fine here. I mean, I'm going to sell this guy. We just got nuked again, but we're okay. Let's uh, secret agent that dude. And then uh, auto skip here. We're good to go, guys. We're good to go. There we go. We got him. My guy, of course, is still asleep. I'm getting a taste of my own medicine here. I got my own burn damage being done to me. There we go, though. We're good. Let's uh, delete him. And then check that out, guys. Who would have ever thought? LT crazy. Spawn trapping on nightmare mode in the toilet city. Wow, things have changed. We're really getting better at this game, guys. All right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this guy again. We have $4,000. So there's that. Next upgrade gives us AoE, which is going to be pretty sweet. And this wave... I mean, look at that, guys. This is just... They, they don't even hit the ground. They just die. They literally didn't even hit the ground. All those uh, police toilets right there, they were just dead. Straight up dead. Now, this wave is going to be a little bit harder. Quad blade strider toilet. Uh-oh, that thing's got four uh, mean, like, claws on it. That's kind of scary. Let's uh, secret agent this UFO just to help out. There we go. We'll secret agent that guy as well just to help out. Secret agent. I don't have enough money. Never mind. We just got bombed again. How's our camera repair drone? 62% uh, percent, like health on it. So we're going to have to, you know, heal up there. Try to take a little bit less damage. There we go, though. Let's help out there. Just like I said, I'm, I'm only dropping the secret agent to speed up the game. I mean, we'd be fine just to let these guys get around the track. But why waste my time? Why waste your time, right? All right. Come on, come on, come on. Hurry up. And three, two, one. And boom. There we go. Cool stuff, guys. Let's go. This mythic only challenge so far, so good. Hopefully, we could uh, still end up clutching it up. I mean, this is potentially the hardest wave. And then, I mean, we do have to deal with those, like, are there hard bosses on wave 49, like, 47, 48, 49, 50. There's all a bunch of different bosses that are pretty difficult. So, it's definitely no freebie just yet. But all these vacuums are going to get smoked by the AoE. So, I mean, they spin in the wrong spot. They really do, guys. They spin in the wrong spot. Really bad decision on their part here. We do have some UFOs attacking us now, though, so that's going to be slightly a problem, but we'll get them. We'll get them. We'll get them. UFO right there. See, told you guys we'd get them. We'd get them. Got some more guys right there. Don't have enough money. I will soon. Three, two, one, and boom. There we go. Let's get that guy, too. Delete him. Place it down again. And skip. Wave 46, guys. Just drop that guy down to help out. Drop that guy down to help out. Drop that guy down to help out. I mean, why not, right? It's kind of fun to just uh, secret agent spam too. It's just a fun little bit of extra damage. But uh, we could soon enough be able to get this guy upgraded to level 6 here. Not quite yet, but pretty soon we'll get him. Now, we have another Toxic Skull Toilet. That used to be the hardest boss in the entire game. He actually, I think, is my favorite. Oh, look, at there's an Infected Titan Speaker, man. I actually really like him too. He's cool. He's very cool. He's very cool. All right, two units left. Wave 47. Let's just auto-skip. We're fine. There we go, guys. We're cooked. Oh, I maybe shouldn't have auto-skipped there. Uh-oh. Well, let me uh, clutch that up there real quick. There we go. Now we're chilling. Now we're chilling. Look at all those assassins, though. Holy moly, guys. That's a lot of assassins. Check that out. So much free money, though. I won't lie about that. That's a lot of free money. 
Oh, here comes the vacuum spam again. Did they learn their lesson from the last time? I guess not, guys. I guess not. All right, here we go. Let's take care of him. We just need $1,000. Get that next upgrade, and we'll be doing so much more damage. For real. Come on, any second. We just need a few more kills here. That boss 3.0 almost has a million HP, so that's kind of the reason why we're not killing anything right now. But we will pretty soon here. We will soon. We will soon enough. There we go. We just need $200. I could probably auto-skip, but that might be a bad idea. Let's just drop that guy down there to help out on that uh, really strong dude. Boom. There we go, guys. And auto-skip. Cool, guys. Cool. We got enough money. Now, we have a bunch of these, like, really, really strong HP uh, turret spider toilets. But we will, in fact, get them slowly but surely. There we go. And, yeah, we got them, guys. We got them. We got this. We're cooking. We're cooking. This is a hard wave. I mean, there's a lot of uh, mean toilets here. The jetpack. Um, you hit the toilet. It has, like, 1.2 HP million. So, that's a lot. That's a lot. But we'll uh, slowly but surely get them. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. 700k left. 400k left. 300, 200, and he's dead. Let's go. Let's skip again. All right, cool stuff, guys. We got uh, you know one wave to go. I can get down another um, you know UTC here as well. So let's just do that. There we go. Just plop him down right there, and let him let him cook. Let him cook. Let him do his thing. Come on, level three already. Wow, he got upgraded quick. Whoa, the tank is on the map now. Now that's a mean toilet. That's a toilet I would not want to mess around with. 1.6 million HP. That's more HP than these units ever had in the past. This, uh, this nightmare mode is definitely getting harder and harder the more and more like, like the new updates come out, you know? It's definitely, definitely getting harder here. That skull toilet's going to be dead, though, very shortly. Cool. Now we just have to deal with this big old mean tank. He's got like 600k HP left. I mean, he's dead there in two seconds. Wave 50, guys. Wave 50. Could you believe it? Now, let's sell these dudes right here. We do not need them. And we'll use that extra money to uh, upgrade this guy twice to get the AoE damage. And then we'll use the rest of the money. Oops. Did I? Okay. There we go. Now I clicked it. We'll use the rest of the money we have to just uh, spam secret agents and just kind of help secure the victory okay there we go whoa the scientist toilet check him out check him out guys he's got two million hp that's so much so much hp he's getting so like damaged so much from the aoe though look at that we're not even focusing him we're focusing these guys in the front but that aoe tore him up we might even damage him right here Oh, he uh, yeah, got put to sleep, that guy. Oh, well. Here we go, though, guys. This is it for all the marbles right here, right now. Let's get him. Sadly, he keeps stunning my secret agent, but eventually he'll stop that. There we go. Nice. 300k HP left. And any second now, this game is over. Let's go, guys. We beat the Toilet City and got 1,200 coins. That's pretty sweet. Definitely not the best way to farm coins, but that was fun. Mythic only challenge is complete. Let's go guys. I wasn't too sure about that one. I knew it was gonna be tough But we pulled through that first time we lost there. I was like, oh, is it not possible? But nah, we did it guys. We did it. We always we always make it happen. Am I right? Now with that being said guys if you enjoyed watching this video and you want to support the uh, the video Just make sure you guys hit that like button smash that subscribe button. You know, we're on the road to 300k now We just hit 250k today, which is pretty awesome and then, uh, you know, we're going to be grinding to 300k now. So hopefully we get there pretty soon. That's going to be pretty sweet. And if we could, I mean, let's go W in the chat for that, right? Now, with all that being said, guys, if you want to watch another video from me, check out this uh, series that I'm doing right now where I'm trying to trade from a basic unit all the way up to the TV spider. So far, it's going pretty well. You're going to have to go check out the video and see what kind of units we got up to. All right, I'll see you on over there. Adios.